everybody, it's Eileen, and I am going to teach you guys today how to make pot roast. So, what's in the pan? Okay, so first of all, this is our enamel skillet. It has a lid that goes with it. This is what the lid looks like. Okay, this is my lid. Here's why I love my lid. See all those little knobbies? Those little knobbies will literally self-base this rope. So what do I have in here? I already heated up the skillet. After it was hot, I added some of our garlic and um, canola, garlic infused um, oil to it to brown my skillet. And the reason I browned the skillet, I mean not the skillet, but I browned the, the meat was because it would sear it, give it that extra flavor. Underneath here, um, I ended up with the flan. It looks like it's burnt. Everybody goes, oh my gosh, it's burnt. No, it's called the flan. So I added um, about a cup of water. I added um, beef broth to it, some Worcester sauce, and then I also added um, some um, chili sauce. Mix that all together and put that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to, so I have the stove, I'm going to shut the stove off, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I have some carrots here, so I'm going to add these carrots here. There are some onions, I'm going to put those onions in and around my roast too as well. Actually, um, my favorite part of a pot roast is the carrots. I just love roasted carrots and the potatoes. So I have my carrots in there. And then I have already pre-cut my potatoes. So we're going to put those in and around here too as well. Now here's a trick. If you need to cut your carrots all up ahead of time, and you're not going to use, I mean, your carrots and also your um, potatoes, especially your potatoes, what you can do is just add them to some water. So here's how I cut up. I peeled my carrot, and then I'm using my crinkle cutter, okay? And the reason, and you just use this great little rocking motion, right? And you can see I'm just cutting them. So here's the other big thing. See how there's this great little ridges to it? By having these extra ridges, you guys, what happens is the flavor, I'm gonna add a little pepper, the flavor adheres to them. Now, when this gets, I'm gonna put this in, my, put the lid on it. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm gonna roast this at um, 315 degrees. The reason is I want this to cook at a nice slow temperature because that's going to get it nice and tender. When it's done, then what I'll do is then I'm going to go ahead and then I will um, take my potatoes and carrots and onions out and meat. I always let your meat rest for your um, about 10 minutes. Now, I want to show you something. This is what made me so happy. So I put this in my oven, right? Well, here's the thing, you guys. I'm showing you a second. My oven, I have a double oven, okay? So let me show you something. See my double oven? My double oven is not very big, right? But look at, I can put my skillet will fit in my small portion of my oven so, so, I'm just going to set it right there so it doesn't hit the heating element, right? And now I'm set to go. So, I'm going to let this roast for probably about oh, two hours or so, and then I will finish it up.